If you're from a rural area, you've most likely encountered grain trucks hauling grain back and forth, especially during harvest times, from around June through July and September through October, typically. You may have even seen combines, tractors, and trucks at work in the field, working hard against time and Mother Nature to get their crop in as fast as possible before conditions and the grain take a turn for the worse. But harvest is only part of a much bigger agricultural story, and the reward of all the hard work farmers and others in the agribusiness industry have put in during that crop's growing season. There is a lot happening behind the scenes in our crop production department. So much so, we can't cover it all in just one segment. So join us as we explore the crop production department in depth. From the work done in the warehouse, the drivers and applicators who get the product to our farmers or apply it for them, to the agronomists, our precision ag department, and finally our logistics management and accounting team who keep track of ordering all the products and ensure everyone is billed correctly. First up, let's visit with Abe Ham in the warehouse. Abe oversees everything that happens here. I'm Abe Ham. I've been with the co-op for seven years. I am currently the uh, chemical operations manager. What I like most about working for the co-op would definitely be the people I get to work with every day and the passion they have for agronomy. The biggest change I've seen in my time at the co-op is the co-op is constantly growing and the demand that farmers have for needing more chemical at one time has, has grown drastically. We've picked up a lot of customers and customers that we have are growing and uh, therefore we had to expand facilities and make uh, this place more convenient for the farmers. What happens on a typical day is me and my guys get here in the morning, we have a small meeting, I inform them on what's going on, what they can expect as far as chemical movement for that day and what orders we have so far. They fill orders that have came in, they, uh, they deliver the orders to the customer or when farmers come here for a pickup they fill their shuttles or they give them the package chemical that they need. At the end of each day we, all, we have another small meeting about how the day went, the concerns they have and uh, what was accomplished for that day. We can typically see products starting to move as early as February but our busiest season is in May when corn plant happens. By using herbicides and pesticides, a grower can control weeds and insects more economically and greatly increase production versus an organic farming operation. By using the proper PPE and following the pesticide label, there is no danger to the handler or the environment. PPE is personal protective equipment, including respirators, eye protection, and skin protection. Each label has a different recommendation for PPE. Some could be as simple as just wearing gloves and eye protection. Others could be as far as using a respirator, eye protection, gloves, and a long sleeve shirt. And some could go as far as wearing a hazmat suit with a respirator, eye protection, and gloves. If a farmer should forgo using pesticides or herbicides, he can expect uh, an increase in weed pressure and a harder time controlling pests and a drop in yields. For a new employee to start in the chemical warehouse, he would spend a couple days with our safety director learning general safety information. And from there, he or she would be brought out to the warehouse where I would be giving them hands-on training until they could show competency in handling the different products. A lot of the time, I can work with the guy and help build a good work ethic. Some of the young guys that we have come in, that come in here, they just, they don't have those skills and were never taught those skills growing up. And uh, uh, I've had some good experiences with some guys. All I need from a new hire is a can-do attitude and show up on time and I can train, teach them the rest. 